before we bring you tonight's first class panel, I want to bring you a story that has haunted me from the moment I saw it on Saturday night. Having grown up in the Middle East, I know how often child marriage or to be more precise, child rape happens. But being aware of the horrific statistics is one thing. Seeing this story from CNN, the face of this innocent child sold by her father to a pedophile for $2,000 is harrowing. Bawana, who dreams of going to school and becoming a teacher, applies makeup. A favourite pastime for little girls, but Pawana knows she is preparing for what awaits her. My father has sold me because we don't have bread, rice and flour. He has sold me to an old man. The white-bearded man who claims he's 55 years old comes to collect her. He's bought Pawana for 200,000 Afghanis, just over 2,000 US dollars. Covered up, Pawana whimpers as her mother holds her. This is your bride, please take care of her, says Pawana's father. Of course I will take care of her, replies the man. His large hands grab her small frame. Pawana tries to pull away. As he carries her only bag of belongings, she again resists, digging her heels into the dirt. But it's futile. The fate of this small, helpless child has been sealed. The way that girl fought to stay with her mum and what's going to happen to her next is just heartbreaking, disgusting, really. And that report, that news report, as important as it was, left me thinking, why didn't the network filming it intervene? Why not pay the parents $2,000 and take that child to a, to a shelter or to a group who can help her? Just about anything is better than the fate she has been condemned to.